And in this video, we're going to talk about the decline of the middle of the island and how it's just worsening as a result of these, the, the coronavirus, COVID-19 shutdown uh, that's occurring and uh, the, the, just the perfect storm that seems to be that the middle of the island is going through right now. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you some footage. I have a long video. This will be, it'll be a little bit more condensed, but I'm just going to just give you an overview of, uh, of the damage that's occurring in the middle of the island. You'll notice that the Roosevelt Field Mall is closed. All this, a lot of the shopping centers are closed. And as a result of that, we're going to just draw here uh, in the red marker here. You know, you have no Roosevelt Field. You have a lot of these stores, uh, Gallery, Westbury Plaza closed. Um, you have a lot of stores in Garden City closed. Lord & Taylor, who knows if they're ever going to reopen because uh, Lord & Taylor is going to be going out of business. Um, and, you know, you go further down the line, uh, if we go to the west, and, and you'd see that there'd, there'd be more stores closed in Hicksville as well. But this, I'm going to focus on this because this is the economic heart of the middle of the island. This is where a lot of people go for shopping. And this has been out of commission now for months. Uh, so it's caused a huge uh, decline in the middle of the island. Nobody, there's nobody coming here, uh, and as a result, we've had vagrancy. We have, and, and the fact is that a lot of these stores aren't going to come back, so the damage is permanent. Um, and let me just clean that out. Uh, so we're going to focus on what happened today, uh, and the difference again. The South Shore towns are are just, you know, it's almost like nothing happened for them. Uh, it's almost like nothing happened. It's almost as if life is going on close to normal in towns like Lindbrook and Rockville Center. All right, and Merrick and, and Belmore and Points East. It's going on normal. Um, uh, but up north in the middle of the island, it, it, it's just getting worse. Uh, and the latest area now that we are, that is now facing a major decline, is this North New Hyde Park area. Um, the, particularly the Hillside Avenue corridor. Uh, the Hillside Avenue corridor is in a serious decline. Uh, and uh, it, it, is, it, it is really, I mean, they haven't resurfaced the road. That's one thing. But there's lots of empty stores in this whole corridor right here. And again, this is all part of the game plan that we're in the middle of the island. Uh, we're just seeing another area uh, destroyed. Actually, this circle should be drawn a little further north. Uh, so. What ended up happening today was, after going in Lindbrook and having a nice time there, I take the bus, and I'm greeted with a bum hanging out. Actually, yeah, there's a bum hanging out right here on the corner here. All right? And, uh, but I'm still on the bus. I'm going to shop right over here. Uh, so I get off the bus over here, because I'd rather just get off the bus here than wait for the bus to come around. And, you know, it's going to take time, so it's just quicker for me to get off here and walk. I'm sure if there's another bum over here. Uh, and I don't even take a close-up picture of him. He just notices that I'm filming, and he just goes off on me. Uh, but I walk away. I go into ShopRite, uh, and, then, uh, and then I come back. And uh, I walk back, and I notice that the nice bus, there's a nice bus over here, N25, that's sitting at the bus stop and not making a right turn. The bum got on that bus and was giving the driver a hard time. So eventually the bus goes down south. Uh, though I didn't notice it pass, I don't know, maybe I did, and I just don't remember with all that was going on. So lo and behold, uh, I don't know if the bum just gets off the bus, but I bet he was probably thrown off the bus or kicked off the bus here at Hillside Avenue. And I have to get the N22 back to Mineola, so I've got to wait here uh, and get the N22 back. Uh, and uh, while I'm waiting, I noticed that there's vacant stores in the shopping center, so I start taking pictures, and the bum... Again, he's on the other side of the street. He's on the north side waiting for the westbound bus. But his cart is over here. And he literally just starts going off on me. Uh, and it, it, it's just unbelievable. And I just lose my cool and flip out because I felt helpless. Uh, there was no one around. It was a complete ghost town. So this gives you, sheds you some light on what happened. But first, I want to show you how great they have it on the South Shore and how just a wonderful place it is compared to the hell that is the middle of the island. So I spent about a nice little evening in Lindbrook for about an hour or so before I had to catch my bus. And, uh, you know, I took a walk on this nice park trail here that because uh, I had a little time to kill. So I figured let me walk around. Maybe we'd see some nature here. I did see one butterfly, but... Uh, 
you know, it was just a nice, pleasant walk here. Uh, despite the fact this is right uh, along the tracks, along the Babylon line, it's clean, it's peaceful, uh, very nice, shady. Uh, didn't you know? Didn't come across anything, uh, you know, unsafe or anything like that. It was it was really nice, just a peaceful uh, walk. I would say around. Uh, let's see what time it was about six thirty or so. Well, maybe a little before, like six fifteen or so. Uh, and uh, then, then I head over to the downtown. Atlantic Avenue is closed off uh, because they have uh, dining in the street, and it was uh, it was a hit. A lot of the tables were taken. Very busy, full of life everywhere in downtown Lindbrook. It was it was it was just amazing, and I just didn't want to leave. It was just such a happy place to be. Uh, you know, everybody's happy. Everybody's in a good mood. Uh, you know, you're around all this positive energy, which is important for somebody like me uh, to be around, of course. Um, and uh, you can see there, there's the train passing. Um, that train doesn't stop in Lindbrook. Um, but uh, you can see here uh, that you know, it's just amazing. People in the streets, everybody's having a good time. You have families out. It's safe. It's peaceful. It's upbeat. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice place. You know, I really didn't even want to leave. But I knew I had to go to the supermarket. I had to head home, uh, and uh, you know I had to get on the twenty. You had people even gathering over here in this area. So people everywhere it was really happening and, and upbeat and positive. So I was back on the bus up north, across Hillside Avenue, South Side. This is our first bum here hanging out uh, on the on the corner there, getting drunk. Uh, but it looks like the police had taken care of him because he was gone. Um, by the time I got back there, but I still had to deal with all the le the overgrown weeds, no life. This was in no North New White Park, trash in the back of stores, uh, signs down, unkempt, everything looks unkempt, the landscaping, it's just very depressing. And then you have the abandoned houses, uh, a couple of those I saw, uh, and then came this bum. This was when I got off the bus. This was the bum that uh, bothered me here, and I, I, you can't even see his face here, uh, but uh, he, you know, you can't. I was too far away to get a clear picture of him, and I didn't want to. I just wanted to show the general idea of what is what was happening to North New White Park because I couldn't even believe it. And this was my first encounter with the bum. No, you just take a picture of me. No. Nope. What the fuck do you mean, no? Get away from me! Get away from me! You're a bum. You're a bum. That's what you are. You're hanging out. You you ca causing problems. Causing problems. Yeah. So, lo and behold, I returned to Hillside Avenue, and that bum had taken a bus to get off at Hillside Avenue, on the other side of the street. He was roaming in the middle of the walking in the middle of the road, uh, and I crossed to the other side to get the eastbound bus. He was by the westbound N22, and I was taking a picture of this abandoned. Storefront. This looks like an Indian salon, and it closed. And this this probably was from the coronavirus because the salons was so closed, uh, were forced closed by the governor. And then he started with me again, crossed the street, and that's when things got ugly. Well, that place went out. See, salons they're going out because they've been closed for so long. Thank you, Andrew Cuomo. Take what? A of me you again. said you just break my neck. We're standing. We're standing in the middle of the freaking highway right. here. Take a picture of me again. Fucking uh, freaking retard. I'm not. I wasn't actually taking a picture of you. I was taking a picture of the trash around. All right. Now let's get out of the road. Trash. Yeah, trash. Look at the vacant store here. Look at the vacant take store. Fucking trash. That's what you want. Step away from me, or I'm calling 911. How the fuck do you want to call? All right. I'll call 911. You started bothering me. All right. Put that picture again. You told me again. You see what I've done? First of all, we're on a public street. You can take a picture of me if you want. No, no, you can't take a picture of me, bitch. Okay? You're a private person. Put it, do it again. I'll shove it over there. I gotta get on the bus, all right? So leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. You know what, people? You belong in jail. You're a very unstable person. No, you! You belong in jail! But because our governor is a piece of shit and nobody does anything, that's why you're on the streets! And we're tired of it! We are tired of it! We are tired of it! You get away from me! You get away 
from me. I will point the camera at you because you're harassing me. You can hit me on the camera. You are harassing. This man is harassing me. Okay. This man is harassing me. All right. You belong in the hospital. What do you mean get away from? You can't pick up people for no reason. I'm not. You can't pick up for no reason. He's harassing. He harassed me. Try again. Try again. Nine one one can help you. All right. I know the police won't do a damn thing. So now this bum has his picture taken, uh, and I stick it in his face. Uh, there were other people around, and there was traffic. So I, you know, uh, I don't want to do this anymore, showing these bums because it's dangerous. Uh, you know, and uh, you know they're very—they'll just go off on you. You know, it was just a matter. I don't even do it that much anymore. But because I was so shocked it was going on in this neighborhood, which used to be a very nice neighborhood, not anymore, obviously. The abandoned store, the bum, uh, and uh, he literally just stood in the road. Uh, literally, well, here we are standing in the middle of the road, and he's, I mean, he's threatening me. Uh, this guy needs to be in a hospital. And he, say, he says, well, the police won't do anything. Yeah, that's right, they won't. Because of our governor, because of the liberal politicians in our government, we have to be subjected to these dangerous people who belong behind bars or an institution. They cannot be out on the streets. But this is what you get here in, 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 in New York. And it's just getting dangerous here. And the only safe areas seem to be the South Shore. The middle of the island is just, it's too dangerous. And uh, I'm not living in New Jersey, so I, I can't deal with this anymore. So I, I just wanted to show you, I wanted to document what's happening here. And I'm going to continue to do this, but showing you the homeless problem, unfortunately, is just too dangerous because of what happened today. Uh, I can't do it anymore. Um, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's just, it's out of control in the middle of the island. It's completely the worst I've ever seen it by far. Fortunately, the bus came on time, but it was a depressing ride going back. Bump, Hillside Avenue full of craters, abandoned buildings all over the place. Just felt like a third world country. shouting on the phone and then I get back to Mineola and it's just a ghost town. More buses than cars on the road. Never thought I'd see that. Uh, Mineola is just suffering too. I mean, it's just so many problems here. It's just dead here too. Last night when I came here, it was just lifeless, completely lifeless. Nothing going on at all. And then Hicksville, which I was at yesterday, just on, uh, on Thursday, and it was just depressing bums everywhere and, and graffiti and no life you know the middle of the island is just it's just done guys and uh you know i'm here to i'm going to document this and uh, uh this video is creative Commons, so you can you know mirror it or share it or whatever just try to be you know attribute me and try to be tasteful when you do it <clears throat> but um it's done middle of the island is just you know i'm starting to really give up on the middle of the island at this point. I think the, the shutdown uh, from the uh, pandemic is the end completely for the middle. And uh, the South Shore will be the place to be from now on. And uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do because obviously I'm stuck in a difficult situation here and I can't just live where I want. And um, I don't know. I, I, if, I, if, I could, uh, if I could leave, I, I would leave. If I could, I would. But I don't know what I'm going to do. And New Jersey is not an alternative. It's even worse there. You got the heat. You got Phil Murphy. And uh, No. I've got to be on the South Shore. Um, 
that seems to be what's going to happen. In the meantime, I'm just going to go to the south shore as much as possible and avoid the middle of the island as much as I can because um, it's just very bad for my mental health to be be around these problems. I can't deal with it anymore. I got to be where it's happy and bright and, and positive for my own mental. I have a right to be in those surroundings so I can improve my mental health. So that's going to be it. Take care. Pray for me. Pray for the middle of the island. Um, and uh, this video is just going to be, you know, a documentation of what's happening, uh, a record of what's happening. So when this is a, a complete wasteland uh, with uh, nothing but boarded up buildings, bums, and, and, and piles of sand and maybe pine trees reclaiming the middle of the island here in Nassau, uh, at least there'll be some record of, of what, what happened uh, and why, it, why the middle of the island uh, has, has, has declined the way it is. And, uh, at this rate, I do think we're going to see a middle of the island that will, maybe in 10 or 20 years, be a complete wasteland. Uh, or sooner. Or sooner. So, uh, I want to be wrong, but it doesn't look good. So, thank you for watching. Take care.